It's the Microsoft Surface Pro 5, and it looks exactly like the last version. Same ports in exactly the same places, even the same physical dimensions. In fact, the only way that we could tell that this is the new Surface Pro is by the more discreet vents. I have a feeling this teardown is gonna give us a little bit of deja vu, but we can't be sure until we dig in, so let's tear down Microsoft's Surface Pro 5. Getting into this Surface Pro is the same as it's always been. You need a little heat to soften the adhesive and some gentle prying to separate the front panel. While we've done this plenty of times, it's still a long and involved process where you risk cracking the display at every step. But the insides of this Pro reveal some differences. A spidery new heatsink design seems to indicate that Microsoft completely redesigned the passive cooling system, allowing it to run 100% fanless. The battery also got a boost from a two cell to a four cell unit, but they didn't leave enough room for a removable blade SSD. There goes the sole upgradable feature from last year's model. Out next was the Surface Connect charging port, cameras, the speakers, and finally, the motherboard. On board, you'll find the Intel Core M3 processor, four gigabytes of Samsung-made LPDDR3 RAM, and the now-integrated Samsung-made NAND flash memory. But wait, there's more! We've got a complete list of chips over in the teardown on our site. Only the battery is left, and just like the other Surface Pros, it's glued firmly down to the case. This is a four-cell, 45-watt-hour battery, and that's nearly an 18% increase in battery capacity over the previous model. With the Surface Pro 5 fully disassembled, it was time to evaluate its repairability. The Surface Pro 5 scored a 1 out of 10, and here's why. Although we like connectors, the ones present in the Surface Pro aren't standard, making display removal tricky. The display removal procedure is simplified by the use of thin foam adhesive and a fused display, but it's still not trivial. And on the downside, adhesive holds many components in place, including the display and the battery. Replacement of any part requires removal of the display assembly, an easy part to damage, and the SSD is no longer replaceable. And that's the Surface Pro 5. Be sure to check out the full teardown over at ifixit.com. It includes some sweet x-ray images, and stay tuned for more teardowns coming next week. Happy fixing!